Good morning, everyone. It's day one of winter, winter camping adventure. And the battery pooped out halfway through the night. So we have to do the Mr. Buddy heater emergency heat situation. Uh, we are on our way to Southern Utah, so we are gonna stop in Salt Lake, put a new battery in this thing. Although the battery in it's only two years old, so I'm not loving that. Well, we rolled in with daylight today. We are just west of Moab in Canyonlands National Park, which really, it arches is cool, but wait till I show you this tomorrow. There's a reason they call it Island in the Sky, which is the campsite we're at. It's just a bluff or a little mesa surrounded by canyons, hence the name Canyonlands. So tomorrow we will go check it out. Look at those colors. Also, look at this lady. Morning. <laughs> Got a little chilly last night. Not freezing. The elevation's like 6,000 feet. It's like 50 in the day. I think it probably got to like 35 last night. Now, Canyonlands, not a huge park, at least the parts you can drive into. Because when you get to the southern terminus of the road, it's just one absolutely massive canyon. Now, the Grand Canyon's great, but like this, you're going to like this. Now, granted, my phone camera won't do it justice. We'll do our best anyway. that road way down there we are going to drive that road later today that's right it's off-road time my family has instructed me I need to pay attention and not drive us over the cliff right over here. All right, so we are, we're going down into Canyonlands, down Schaefer Road. That's the move. Let's go. So we are off-roading, although it's not really off-roading. Honestly, this road down in here, which they're like, you need four-wheel drive with low range to get in on this. You could drive a minivan on it. It's nicer than most of the roads uh, in Idaho. Um, but fun, but dirt, a little soft track. I'm sure it gets worse. They say down towards White Rim, also pretty gnarly, gnarly bits. But so far, we have not even needed to put on the four-wheel drive yet. Um, we've passed about four Jeeps and one Toyota Tundra so far. And I'm pretty sure that is the Green River down there. Check it out. Big horn sheep. Look at that big alpha of the pack right there and just like yep this is my herd
Hey everybody. After two hours of off-roading down into the canyon, down Schaefer Road, we're back up on Island in the Sky, the big mesa in the middle of the canyon, hiking around Aztec Butte. As you can see, my wife and children are abandoning me because they're much faster than me right now. It's windy up here. Just in case you couldn't hear that. A little windy. These were made by the ancient Pueblo people to store grain. They would have a stone in front and they would cover all this rock up with mud here? so that nobody would know that it was a food cache. I gotta say, guys, going to canyon lands in uh you know late november a lot better than i thought it would be you know we got campsite at maybe in my top two nicest car campsites we've ever been to so that's nice it got to like 34 last night so it didn't freeze 52 in the day um we got one more night in canyon lands so tomorrow we're gonna go south and check out valley of the gods so let's check that out Hey everybody, we're about three hours south of Moab and we just got into Valley of the Gods and it's all BLM dispersed camping. So we're gonna see if we can find a spot. Also, we had to cross a minor creek to get in here. So if it flash floods, I guess we're staying here for a while. So last time we had the tent trailer out for like four or five days, we ran out of batteries on like day four. So we are using the inverter on the forerunner to charge. We charged with the 12 volt off the car when it was hooked up to the car light system. And we're doing a little solar to try and get it bumped up. I used to have a battery meter on this thing, but I could never get it to read right, so we're just winging it this time. Because uh, it's getting cold, and if we run out of juice, we run out of heater tonight. And uh, the Mr. Buddy is just not as nice.
we're just driving through Valley of the Gods and you probably can't see this on my camera, on my phone, but Baby G spotted one, two people on the top of this crazy rock. It is wild out here. Just in case you were wondering where we camped and what Valley of the Gods looks like from above. There's the road. We're camped somewhere back down there. Next up to find the Tom Hanks road spot. All right, we are now officially at Forrest Gump spot. Yeah, it has a designated spot with a pull out. And if you're wondering why people are standing in the middle of the road, that's why. So we were driving down the highway and we were debating if this was a lake or a reservoir or it was just a big pile of gravel. Younger G was like, Dad, it's just a big pile of gravel. And you can't really tell from this angle of my phone. It's just a gigantic lake-sized pile of gravel in the middle of nowhere. All right, can you see at this point better that it is just the giantest smoothest pile of rock ever all i can guess is that it's tailings from a uranium mine which is maybe what that sign says over there and probably why i shouldn't stand next to this someone let me know in the comments for anyone wondering where the town of mexican hat gets its name yeah it's this rock isn't that the most American thing ever? Rather than calling it Sombrero Rock or Sombrero Town, they just call it Mexican Hat Rock. Or I have no other words. We're in the middle of nowhere. This is what you're getting from me. I don't know what day we're on. Is it day four? Five? I don't know. We're saying goodbye to uh, Valley of the Gods and off to Goblin Valley today. That's the plan. Lots more driving to go. Somewhere that way. Maybe. I don't know. Let's do it. I sort of wish we brought a little extra fuel, but I never know where to store it. I guess in the tent trailer. We've been on Highway 261 for like an hour. Not a, a single <laughs> car. Uh, I think we're an hour to the next gas station. Uh, I got a half, a little over half a tank. We'll make it, but would not want to run out of fuel on this particular road. It's a nice road, though, considering no cars on it. So for the last two hours, we've been driving maybe the loneliest highway ever through Glen Canyon and Fry Canyon. Highly recommend. Just make sure you have a full tank of gas. We are still a fair ways from gas. All right, everybody. We made it to Goblin Valley State Park. Uh, yeah, this would be our last stop on our journey. So, uh, it's got a bunch of these goofy rock things that my children have been climbing all over the top. Let's go check them out. So, one can assume Goblin Valley State Park is named for these weird, I'm not going to say what they're shaped like, uh, rock formations that you can find uh, all around this park. We've seen a lot of weird rocks on this trip, but not like this. Well, I think we found the valley that had all the goblins in it. Take a look at that. I mean, hard to capture on a camera, but you squint and they look a little bit like goblins. Kind of reminds me of those terracotta warriors.
these things are so weird that the little G's we've been playing hide and seek out here. We are on round three. Each node of weird goblins they get to hide in. We told them where the parking lot was and some landmarks because if they get lost out here, it can take a minute to find them. <laughs> There's a lot of these. Where are those two? Picture grabbed. All right, it's random slot canyon adventure time. Uh. Well, folks, this has been one of my favorite trips. Utah's got a lot to offer, so it's been good getting out of Idaho for a bit. By the way, if you're watching this, this will be after, obviously, but it's Thanksgiving today. Real Thanksgiving holiday this year. Forerunner, nice upgrade over the Trailblazer. It's been a good adventure rig. Use that power inverter a stupid amount, mostly to charge iPads. All right. Six hours to go. Catch on the next one. It's not a G unit family road trip without a snowstorm kicking up outside for the last three hours. Woo!